Welcome back, guys. So, I know my previous episodes have probably been, or hopefully it's just one episode. It might be one or two. Seems like things may have been in, you know, kind of jumping around, and I might have said that before I fought this boss before. I'm not sure. So, here's the game plan. Alright, we are now level 98. Look at the amount of experience I have. I'm tempted to get the DLC, um, especially since now I have watched the original Nier because I felt like I needed to know and I'm glad I did. I'll speak more on that later. For now though, we're level 98 and I switched chapters and I'm now to B. Hang on. Alright guys, I need to be honest with you. like. You guys should know why there's, why I don't have weapons right now. Um, I, I, guys, I, 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 I can go back. I told you, if you remember way back when, I think it was literally episode five. I said, you know, once you go that route, you never go back. I, I, I can, I can come back, guys. I could never fully recover. I'll admit it. All right. A2 is fine. Not 2B, though. Um. And to be quite honest, I do like the fights better. But I, if I remember correctly, yeah. I equipped her sword to the second one. Which. I kind of like the blue dashing with her and then red with A2. You guys can guess on the reasons why. Um. I'm hoping that by changing the chapter, we'll get to see that boss do his special dialogue again. Uh, and I might do something. Oh, one more thing. my fr This pod that I have right now is fully upgraded. I couldn't really tell a difference uh, besides damage, but we'll see. Anyway, so the game plan. We're going to go defeat that boss one more time. Then we head to Emil, and then we beat him. And yes, I'm not doing it with 9S. 9S feels cheating. Like, I didn't think it would be that easy, you know? And yes, I'm like, what, 18 levels above this boss, but I felt it would be okay. And I also have mixed feelings since I can actually take all these guys out and there are no repercussions but understandable since there's a boss right here should probably do that first huh oh no no you know what I have to try it it does not Breaking completely. Alright, good to know. So this actually shouldn't take long once I get my swords back. It moved. Proposal. Defeat the giant machine life form. Alright, I'm sticking in this, alright? It honestly just feels more battle savvy anyways. Alright? Let's just do this. Um, yeah, I will need the others to move out of the way. So let's see. I'm doing a decent amount of damage. But I do feel like it was supposed to, um, be done on later levels. Which makes sense considering, you know... I probably could. No, I couldn't have. Not with 2B. Am I doing. Yeah, I'm doing enough. I'm doing enough. I just wish the song had changed. I. You know, like I had access to the jukebox or something. He's not that bad. Of course, again, we're higher, we're much higher levels, so that has to do with it. And I'm getting hit 
This is also a good warm up because I am getting hit way too much for my liking. All right, what's his health at now? Um, bring it down a little bit. I also wonder if he has some special type of dialogue he was saying um, in the middle of all that. All right, it's just me and him now. Well, I mean, to answer that question, that, you know, I could see how, I, I heard, so I heard the whole reason for this area is kind of this test to see how much you've gotten attached to the robots. I don't want to hurt them, but, like, there, there's more of the game locked behind them. So, and he responds, you know, if that wasn't the case, then yeah, I wouldn't even bother with this, but he responds. So, now I'm not sure about the uh, robots that speak. Okay, I'm going to need to be a little bit more careful. I'm holding now, I think, like four buttons at one time. I'm holding down right button, right triggered, right button to shoot, right button to dash. I'm changing the camera with the right stick, and I'm running with the left. So, pretty impressive if I do say so myself. But I'm still getting way, hit way too much. Wait, do I have this in hard mode? I think I did change this to hard mode. I'm not going to pause. And I will try to um, get used to using the healing items like that. I mean... Well, the only reason I'm saying that is because I watched some other playthroughs. Because, you know, mainly... Well, not fully. Just, like, a bit parts of them. Because I started uploading this to YouTube now. Um, and I wanted to see how their quality was and everything. And what they were doing. And a lot of people got used to using the D-pad. So I want to be one of those people, but... You know, he's also reminding me of that robot we, uh... What is it? That robot that I... Got, the anger got the best of me, and I struck him down. I mean, this is what this is doing is the dictionary definition of what I didn't want to do with the tank, right? Like 2B said, if they aren't hostile, fighting them's a waste of time. This guy was the definition of not hostile. He was literally minding his own business, and here we are. So now I'm glad that I'm redoing this because he is saying a lot more. And it's quicker. See, if I wasn't doing a playthrough again, I probably would have taken the time to try and beat him with A2. But since I am, I kind of want this to be a little bit quicker. You know, because you guys don't want to be here forever. I wonder if I could lead him outside somehow. That's probably why he goes back or. Looks like he's going back. Alright, we're almost done. You are an interesting boss, I will give you that. Enemy silenced. Threat has been neutralized. Enemy silence. Well, isn't that a friendly thought? The enemy has been silenced. Okay.
Yeah. Yeah. Look, there's there's no point in. All right. So we've done that. We're now level 99. I'm not sure if I got a part or not, so we'll head to the resistance camp. And then, uh, next location, I think we have everything we need for a meal. And that might give us access, like, I was thinking for the longest time, like, what are behind those doors? It might be more bosses, honestly. Who knows? I'm having trouble finding my words. No, I didn't get it. I did want to try the Phoenix weapon. Which, by the way, I found out a lot of these weapons were in Nier. That some of the other weapons might have been in uh, other games, but... Oh, you know, another thing I've also found out is that when you defeat an animal, they drop more than... Am I on the wrong spot? I think so. Yeah, I want to be up here. Funny! Where the racetrack ended, a meal was right here. Well, you guys know I was um, not in the exact spirits to look right here and explore. Which, another thing I should say, if I didn't uh, explain this... Totally do it in the elevator, too. Good to know. Alright, so anyways, I actually want to talk about Emil for a second before we go fight him. I found out a lot more about him as well, as you guys know. Um. Yeah, we're just, just don't mind me, okay? Just, just don't mind me. Just don't mind me. Um. So, Emil's story is actually incredibly sad. Like, he was a character in Nier, and I was under the wrong impression, and I, I do apologize for this, I was under the wrong impression on what replicants were, and honestly, you couldn't have gotten it unless, A, somebody told you in the comments, if you're doing a playthrough at the same time, or B, you had played the original game. Now, do I think I should have played the original game before this one? Or w at least watched it, because that's what I did. Um, watched it. Um. Oh, another thing! Hang on. I want to just show you guys. Watch this. Well, not exactly. Okay. Well, that wasn't what I meant to do. Oh, none of them should even be able to hurt me. Well, kinda, but... Um... That's not what I meant to do at all. Great. Now we're like this! I literally did not mean to do that. What I was trying to show you guys is, in the race, I was so stuck on, you know, how to descend safely. If you just do this, the down attack, you can descend and you'll, you won't take, you'll, one, descend faster, and two, you won't take any damage. I wish I had shown that. I can't pick up stuff right now. I, I, I can't. Like, is anybody, like, on the very serious side, you don't think this is a much more battle-suited, you know... Hey, I didn't, I didn't make the game, alright? I didn't. So, like, right here. Look, I didn't take a single bit of damage from jumping that high. But, alright, where is he? Is he here? Alright, good. We can go speak to him. Guess we, he has to give us permission to come in his house. And then we can go. So, while I'm traveling there, right? So, if you don't want to hear, you know, what was the real deal with the meal, and, you know, you might actually go watch the original game, well, I mean, no, is it, what I'm going to say isn't a spoiler. Because you would need to know in order to... So, what's the deal? Emil wasn't replicants. The whole deal with um, Emil making copies of himself, that's just something Emil can do. What he is, is he's actually a magical weapon, which you wouldn't get from uh, a game, you know, which mainly focuses on robots. He's a magical weapon. So, 
what he did is he can, you know, he magically made clones of himself. The replicants weren't... There are... There is a thing where he has different copies of himself. I guess this is kind of a spoiler for near if I... Or the... Yeah, the original. Not automaton. Proposal. Use pot fire to force him to stop. But I mean, I guess at this point... All right, yeah, I'll say this. If you have any hesitant, if you're hesitant, um, uh, if you want to play the game of Nier and or watch it, one of the two, for, and see the story for yourself, then you probably shouldn't watch beyond this point because I'm going to talk a lot about that um, because we're going to be going on the info and things. And there we go. We've gotten permission. Um, right. So, yeah, if you want to know more, it might be a good time for you to dip out. So, with that being said, I'm about to talk about it. So, Emil's actually in the body of his sister. Um, he and a bunch of other kids were in this program, uh, that were making a magical weapon, right? That does not have to do necessarily with um, the replicants and the end of humanity. Well, it kind of has something to do with inhumanity. See, the thing about the original Nier, and I'm, this is why I'm glad somebody like me didn't play it. Right, we gotta go up. Um, which is, we needed to know, I, I would've... The original Nier deal is dealing with the possible end of humanity. And in fact, the way it ends, I would almost think, you know, is humanity already dead? I need to know more about Devla and Popola's situation. Well, in a sense, I need to reread the information I've gotten in this game to make a complete picture. And I do want to go more, uh, give you more detail about Devla and Popola. Trust me on that. But, um, for Renau and Emil. So, right, he was a magical weapon. And it almost seemed like humanity was gone in the original Nier. So, as far as what the replicants were, those are a bit more complicated. And I feel like I'll explain them more later on. But mainly, I just wanted to say, Emil was just a kid. He wanted to save somebody and so he ended up fusing with the body of his sister which had gotten corrupted and ended up in uh you know the face that you see was uh her face not her childlike face but um she looked like a monster basically she went through the experiment and looked like a monster um so yeah then after that oh that actually could kill me I didn't know that. So yeah, after they fused, then Emil got um, his body and her body fused, and that's why his face looks like that. I'm not sure if I'm doing a good job explaining or not. Hmm. I guess all you need to know is that he used to be a kid. And the original main character of Nier, who, you know, name was Nier, and then another person named Kanye, um, or Kaine, sorry, Kaine, not Kanye, Kaine, um, who was female and actually 2B can get her outfit in a DLC. That's a different story. Um, they were his friends and seeing him, Emil's been through a lot. All right, that's really what I just want to say. He's been through a lot, and I feel bad for saying what I did. Um, you know, about I got annoyed and things like that. And when I stole from his house, I was like, so? The thing about it is I knew what we had to do, right? If I just came here without knowing that, then I wouldn't have said so. You know, that's not my personality. Although I do think this game has slightly changed something in me. Um, well, maybe not change, but I don't know. 
I mean, look at me right now. You know? So. Okay, so we can come in here. Hypothesis. This is the residence of the inscrutable life form known as Emil. Alert. Theft of physical objects may disturb the resident. Oh, and this song! This was also from the original game. Uh, see, now this is heart. This is... Like, when some sad moments happen, that's when this song played. A lot of the... Actually, a, there are a lot more references in this game than I reckon... And then I realized. But again, I would like to speak on that once we go for the info. Alright, so... I have what I need. So, is it just a simple matter of putting on the mask now? And will Emil come to me? After that, I put all my valuables in a secure container. Now I don't have to worry anymore. Okay. Which, by the way, do you... No, you don't. Well, I actually had... After that... So, hopefully I don't need to get 9S for this. Didn't want a handicap either. I wanted this to just be me and him. I feel I don't want to hurt Emil. Like, now that I've gone through and everything that he's been through, he's actually a really tragic character. And I'm so, like, he's been through a lot, although technically that's not the original. I also get now what, when he means by, what he means by this, the, place where the flowers and everything so I guess I should explain that a little bit as well Kaine was I think you could say like either a, a sisterly kind of figure in his life she liked lunar tears and the place that he was protecting was her place where she lived she was well homeless or you know she was kicked out of she there was it was a complicated situation, but they had a very strong bond. It makes... It, it's sad, it really is, so... So in short, feel like a jerk, but in all honesty, the Emil that I know in this game isn't the original. And that Emil had gotten on my nerves because, well, you guys know, his music Whenever he play that music during a situation where it's supposed to be a serious situation. Like Father Servo or, you know, uh, that, uh, what was it? Angelus or Angels? I forgot what his, uh, that robot's name was, but. Anywho. Uh, yeah. Um, whenever that happened, that, oh, we need revenge. All right, hopefully this doesn't kill him because if it does, I don't want to, I mean, he's still an, an Emil, you know, even though he's not the original. And he does remember what happened to the others, so. Yeah. I, um... I just hope that, that uh, this is much more comical battle than... Oh, I could do that too! Huh. Well, that was much faster. Which, it stands to reason that I learned more about the game as time went on. But alright. So, all I should have to do now is, I think, go inside, at least get the message. Or maybe I have to, you know... No, 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 I think all we should have to do is just put on the mask. Yeah, I don't even see the box. Oh, it's right here. Alright. So, here's hoping it'll work. Because I already have one anyways, you know, so... If it doesn't, I just wasted a whole bunch of time. 
I'm gonna be a little upset, but that's fine. Oh, not that. Well, that's unfortunate. So what, I can't fight with 2B or A2? Hmm. Because I have to be able to hack, right? It looks like it has to be with 9S. I also realize this song has uh, actual lyrics to it. You know what, guys? I think I actually messed up. I hope now that we can sw that we are able to switch characters. That um, good. I was hoping to survive that. That um, I can change to these weapons because. I think she still has. She stick with her first loadout that I chose. Meaning she's not gonna be as strong. She'll be using her fists. Which I guess. Uh, I didn't even want a second character. But if I had to, you know, I was thinking I might as well go all out because they probably designed the boss battle to be fought like this. Because, you know, just thinking about it, the only way I think you could really get away with it. Um, no, I don't think there is a way. You'd have to fight him with 9S. Because he's a second route. It's like, alright. Let's see. I've opened the box. But I'm pretty sure I can just walk out, right? So you were the bandit all along? Oh no. Okay. You may be a cherished companion of mine, but you still must be punished. Well then, here we go. Like I said, might as well Well, actually he makes it to where hacking is really hard. Okay. Well, then I might as well go all out. Let's get into this. Uh, I think that's the one I want to equip. Gravity was still equipped? Really? Thought I changed that. Alright, and missile shield. Okay, yeah, that, that's not what I was trying to do. Okay. Um, well, good thing is 2B will still have her pod. Um, right, B. Oh, wait, he's actually not that bad. Alright, um, how do I... Forgetting... There we go. Alright, Emil. Actually, this is going to be over really quickly. What? What are you doing? Oh, pray! Ah, uh, now we gotta end this. I lost. I guess power is the only thing that counts in this world anymore, huh? What? Well, go ahead and use this room for whatever you like. I don't mind. Wait, wait a That's not... What is this? The weapon. See, this isn't right. Now I really wish I didn't play the... A mill... Emil, I...
Come on, buddy. It, it wasn't that serious. I'm sorry, I, I just... Let's take a look at the weapon we got. So the combat, yeah. Well, that was low. Why is this a... I hope this information is worth it. Alright. I'm gonna go upgrade the weapons and I'll meet you guys back. Hey, we just came and... Stole something from him twice. And then... I guess we killed him. I hope not, though. I'm hoping I go up there. And I got my wrong thing on right now. I don't even care anymore. Really have to do this to find out more? Oh no! Hang on. Looks like he may be okay. Okay. Let's go take a look. Boy, the world. I actually after that. Okay. Well, he doesn't seem to remember. But why? All right. Either way, we have uh, we have some place to be. All right. So we can do the first. We can do the second. We can do the third. All weapons are now upgraded. Okay. This is a good place as any to look at him. And now it's time for the question of the day. And guys, I can't tell you how horrible I felt when Emil, you know, when we won the boss battle, you know. So that inspired me to ask you guys two questions this time. All right. One, what was your favorite boss battle? And two, what was your most memorable boss battle? And I separate those because you're asking, how can one be your favorite and another be memorable? Well, because like, for example, the Emil boss battle, I wouldn't say that one was my favorite. It was fun, but you know, the outcome, you know, it can't be my favorite, but it definitely, you know, I definitely will remember that. Or you could say the boss battles between, a, uh, you know, the final fight against A2 or the final fight against 9S, you know. Those are very similar fights that are very, you know, have emotional impact, but they might not be your favorite, you know. So, yeah, that's why I'm asking those two questions. It could, it's perfectly fine, though, if your answers are the same for those questions. I understand. And I also understand, you know, the answers might differ if you actually played the game versus watching. But still, I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. So please, post your thoughts down in the comments below, and I will see you all next time.